I'll give you just a couple. I have pages and pages, but we don't want to bore you. We don't want to go too long. But we have to give a couple, because that's the great thing about live television. They can't cut it. Representative Ilhan Omar. Of a really great state. I almost won the first time in decades and decades, Minnesota. Great state. By the way, I keep hearing how much enthusiasm is in the radical left. I don't think they have enthusiasm. They're just fighting with each other. We have all of the enthusiasm. He goes home now to mommy and he gets reprimanded and that's the end. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, Mom. Didn't mean to embarrass you, Mom. But it's true. We have the enthusiasm, folks. Look at this. Look at this. And by the way, thousands and thousands of people outside and people that couldn't get in. Thousands. We've got all the enthusiasm. They're fighting each other. They've gone so far left, nobody wants to even think about it. So Representative Omar blamed the United States for the terrorist attacks on our country, saying that terrorism is a reaction to our involvement in other people's affairs. She smeared U.S. service members involved in Black Hawk Down. In other words, she slandered the brave Americans who were trying to keep peace in Somalia. Omar minimized the September 11th attacks on our homeland, saying, some people did something. I don't think so. Some people did something. Yeah, some people did something. All right. She pleaded for compassion for ISIS recruits attempting to join the terrorist organization. She was looking for compassion. Omar laughed that Americans speak of Al-Qaeda in a menacing tone and remarked that, you don't say America with this intensity. You say Al-Qaeda makes you proud. Al-Qaeda makes you proud. You don't speak that way about America. And at a press conference just this week, when asked whether she supported Al-Qaeda, that's our enemy. That's our enemy. They are a very serious problem that we take care of, but they always seem to come along somewhere. She refused to answer. She didn't want to give an answer to that question. Omar blamed the United States for the crisis in Venezuela.